Welcome back to Tragic the Garnering. I'm just going to jump right into it. Here is my first box of Ultimate Masters that I'm going to open. <clears throat> and of course the tragic part about this is that um, the set EV has tanked so much. But you know what? I don't care. I'm still going to open it and see if I find anything good. And I'm going to show it off. And then I'll decide what to do with it later. Um, I think I'm probably going to keep um, for a while any of the big hits and see if they re rebound a bit. Um, and any of the lesser hits I might try to move relatively quick. We'll save that one for the end of course. And uh, go from there. Um, Let's see what it is, and then at the end I'll uh, I'll do my scanner thing, and we'll just tally these all up. Here's that little side opener thing. Does it actually work? Give it a try. Anyone who watches this channel knows I'm real slow anyway, so that's how it goes. All right, let's check it out. Spirit, oh, a foil reanimate right off the top. Well, this is actually the one card that I was thinking of maybe keeping some for myself. Um, so cool. It's much better than the squee that was the actual rare. Let's see, can you see the foil in there? It's subtle. That's subtle. I like it. I'm going to keep that one probably for myself. And we'll quickly go through the commons and uncommons. Let me see here. Let's get a little more organized here. <clears throat> I'll do my rares there, my uncommons here, and my commons here. There we go. Um, I don't know if I like that little side thing, but yeah, it doesn't really help. It still makes it really awkward to open up these packs. <clears throat> and I apologize for my voice. I'm still sick. It seems like I've been sick forever. It's all right. All right, what do I get? Foil Kitchen Finks and a Demonic Tutor. Solid. I'll put all my foils there. Token. I love Appetite for Brains. It's just so. It's just so fun. And a Retrieval. And some Commons. Next pack. Pretty exciting. Hopefully, <clears throat> I can at least break even on my boxes. I got 11 of them. So, and I got a little time to get my money back on them. Repel the Darkness and a Fauna Shaman. Fecundity. Chainer's Edict. Very solid, uncommon. Mammoth Umbra. Nothing really much in the common section. <clears throat> I'm wondering if Popper's going to have any effect on some of the commons that have um, been downgraded from uncommon. Time will tell. Okay. War Leader's Helix. And an Entomb. That's okay. I'm thinking I might actually make a some kind of modern reanimator deck bogle that's it do the commons uncommons here we go definitely wanting to hit some of the big time here Gosh. oh the packs they're weird okay Celestial Colonnade in Foil and a Through the Breach. That's a pretty good pack right there. I'm uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, we'll be showing the Anna Kitchen Finks. That's a hot pack right there. And a Young Pyromancer. Pff, solid. Definitely a solid pack. Got a Foil. A Not Foil Foil. All right. Here we go. Oh, this pack 
notch thing is so weird. Okay. Treasure cruise in foil and a fulminator mage. Okay. Okay. That's good. Nothing big there. Another treasure cruise. The angler. Martyr sands. That's good. I'll do something with all those commons. Might not be something exciting, but I'm going to do something with them. <clears throat> Come on, voice, do your thing. All right, the good old zombie token. A hissing iguanar in foil. Big whoop, and I got a sublime archangel. All right, that one wasn't that great. Kadama's Reach, that's decent. All right. Okay. Pull, yeah, that thing works like 10% of the time. But at least it gets you the top open there. Just gonna throw all stuff on the ground. Arena Athlete and the Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Wah wah, that's okay. Golgari Thug, decent, uncommon. Okay. <coughs> and again, at the end, I'm going to tally this all up on the app and uh, see if we broke even, including the box topper. Wow, those are really weird to open. There's still some chance to get. A foil fire and ice and a rebel arc. Oh well. Conflagrate. And not much else. Okay. About halfway through this box. Okay. Quite a production of that. That's a cool elemental token. That looks really nice. A uh, <coughs> foil offal snout, great. And a noble hierarch. Well, that is one you want. Yep. I actually never found this card in my um, regular um, purchases that I do, which is mostly. Um, <coughs> Cards from Goodwill. There's a Faithless Looting. I buy cards from Goodwill and eBay and uh, open them here on the channel and see if I do good on those. So check out those videos if you're new. Make sure to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. This is travel preparations and an Archmage. The Lava Spike and an Anger and a Circular Logic. That was a pretty good uncommon section. Martyr Sands. Decent. Alright. Need to hit one of the big ones though. The foil Celestial Colonnade was probably the best thing so far out of this box. Array of Dawnbringer. Not that great. Okay, next pack. Everyone's saying how these packs are loose, and they are. You just feel the looseness there. I guess that's supposed to accommodate this side opening thing. It's different. Undying Rage and a Lord of Extinction. That's uh, not the best mythic to pull, but it's okay. Wonder what my box topper is gonna be. <clears throat> Hopefully not a lava claw reaches. Apprentice necromancer and a temporal manipulation. That's okay. 
Just the wind. Next pack. Citizen token. <clears throat> There's not a lot that generates citizen tokens in this whole game. So, but I guess we needed it. Back in Apparition and a Ruined Halo, which was a good card. Now it's uh, tanked quite a bit. Since we're going to be seeing so many of those. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to try to make this go all the way down. Can it be done? Oh, it can be done. And they all just come out the side. That's decent. Okay. A frantic search in foil and a Caracas. Uh, that's good. I will take a Ultimate Masters Caracas. You guys can see it. Sorry for any glare you're seeing. Love this art on this Vengeful Rebirth. That is new and exciting Martyr alright I don't know I might might break even on this box I think with the box topper I hope it's gonna do okay Turn to mist and a seismic exalt. This pack is not going to help me much. Slide of hand, definitely. Those are good. Kadama's reach. Okay. Oh well. There's the Lava Claw. That's not great. Faithless Looting. Alright, what are we down to? We got, looks like, six packs left. Alright, we need to get something big here. Whoops. Citizen and a Skywing Aven and a Spoils of the Vault. That is not a big one. Cool art though. Desperate Ritual, Devoted Druid, Laboratory Maniac, good on commons. Okay, there's more. Pull it. Open without ruining all the cards. Good. Spark Elemental. I should pull them like this so I can save the surprise. An Angelic Renewal and an Ancient Tomb. That's solid. Very good card. Buried Alive. That's okay. Next pack. Nope, oh, can't go all the way down. At least you don't damage all the cards when you do it that way. Not that it was really that big of a problem before. I don't know. Token. Got a foil phalanx leader. And a thespian stage. Oh well. Nope. Okay, we got three packs left here. Something good, I'm thinking. One of these is going to have one really good card in it. Did I just jinx myself? Probably. Alright, let's find out. Spider. Mm. Foil Common. And a Maelstrom Pulse. It's okay. It's really an okay card. 
That was reach. Okay. And our last two. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Zombie token. A foil devoted druid. And a celestial colonnade. Alright. Well, that's pretty good for a non foil rare and an eternal witness. Aina Umbra. Decent, decent, decent. Okay. One pack left. And then the box tower. Here we go. Foil mongrel and a gamble, which is what this was for sure. Okay. All right. I think I did okay on the uh, regular packs here. Let's uh, open up this box topper and see what the cherry is. This one doesn't have an easy open. What's that all about, huh? Okay. It's gonna be, it looks a little curly, I gotta say. It is an ancient tomb, all right. That's a good box topper, but you can see Got a little bit of curve to it. Hmm. Well, hopefully, uh, put it in a sleeve and it'll flatten out a little bit. That's great. Okay. We'll be back here shortly. Actually, I'll just speed it up here while I uh, scan these and we'll have a total at the end. Here we go. And then a foil reanimate. 23 bucks. Okay. All told, with uh, my foils and my box topper and some decent rares, I uh, came out ahead. 465 bucks. TCG mid. You can definitely knock off 20% or so of that. Uh, but still. More than um, what I paid for the box, which uh, average across the 11 boxes I got was about 260 bucks. So I'm making 200 bucks. I'm happy. Uh, I'm probably going to hang on to some of the big hits to see if they bounce back in price. Some of the less lesser stuff I'll try to move right away. Um, and that's how I'm going to play this game. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll probably be doing this a few more times. Uh, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching.